you just achieved a big goal in the last week or two. You're now a top 90 player. You always have to reset your goals when you achieve them. So what are your new ones? For this I year? want to be top 50. You know, I, I think that's the next benchmark. Players want to get to top 100, then they want to get to top 50, then go on up to top 20. I think top 50 is the next progression for me. I want to set big goals, but I, I'm... I'm I'm not as uh, I'm a little bit more bashful with mine <laughs> as uh, Holger Runa is just out saying which he has a case to be. So I, I kudos to him, so support him. He needs if he feels like he needs that level of confidence, go right ahead. I'm a little different. I operate a little differently. So a little. we go from you know top 100 to top 50. We take baby steps where I'm from, but uh, but I can operate differently, right? Yep, go ahead. Chris Eubanks is definitely going to be top 50, and he's not going to be too far away from being top 30 at some stage in his career. That's what we've seen, obviously, in the last sort of 12 months. We've seen the progression from Chris. It's been fantastic to watch. We see him take a huge stride, obviously, in Miami when the pressure was on, when he needed to make that kind of move ahead of Roland Garros. And when you make those kind of moves, when the pressure's on, that tells you a lot about what's coming up. Stare into your close-up and, and do one of those really cool like, take your glasses <laughs> off. Like a, there we go. Chris Eubanks, ladies and gentlemen. He can't mean mug anymore like we have on his uh, promo photo.